Gilas is welcomed warmly by fans after a successful bid to reclaim the gold in the Asian Games. Here's the story. Fresh off their historic gold finish in the Asian Games, Gilas Pilipinas has returned home from China. Fans welcomed the national team at the Naia Terminal 1 early Sunday. Two days after the successful gold reclamation bid that took six decades to complete, Gilas head coach Tim Cohn is still beyond belief on what had transpired at the Hangzhou Games. The Philippines last won the Asian gold in 1962, the last of the country's four straight golds in the tournament. For Cohen, this is 25 years after he and the Philippine Centennial team won bronze at the 1998 Games. That was the last time the country reached the podium before Friday's win over Jordan in the final. I don't know if that'll ever sunk, sink in, you know, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a... Uh, almost like it's speechless when we needed to we played we saved our best for last and played big when we needed to play most big so um you know it, it was just a a thrill to to be with all those guys and watch them grow and in the short time that we had to recall the country only had a short window to prepare for the asian games this is because the philippines had to focus on the hosting of and the team's campaign in the fiba world cup the Nationals only had almost two weeks of training for the Quadrinian event. Add to that the eligibility issues on stalwarts Calvin Abueva, Terence Romeo, Jason Perkins, and Mota Tua. The team had to field in replacement players at the last minute. Meanwhile, fans also held a big welcome for naturalized player Justin Brownlee. Brownlee is seen as a driving force behind the country's successful campaign in the Asian. This was most evident in the semifinals against China when he willed the Philippines to victory. Brownlee calls the Asian gold the sweetest victory of his career in this part of the world. It's got to be up at the top, you know, uh, despite, uh, you know, everything that, that's uh, uh, with the history, 60 uh, some years, such a surreal moment. Um, you know, uh, we, we had to play some tough teams uh, in China, uh, Iran. And um, of course, Jordan. It wasn't easy for us. Uh, probably the toughest thing, in my opinion. After this, Gilas will have a short rest before returning to their mother teams in the PBA. Even Coach Cohn doesn't have plans yet for Gilas at this point. The new PBA season is kicking off on November 5.